which is uh, which was a nice segue to my next question because I'm since I'm controlling everything here. Starfield, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> I think it's getting really good hype for a game no one's seen. <laughs> That's right, buddy. It's already said that Starfield will have 14 special editions, all of them just working. This is a great day for Canada and, of course, the rest of the world. And this just in, Todd Howard has seen his shadow today, which not only means that we'll be dealing with a little bit more winter, but that also means that Starfield will more than likely be released within the week. I'm Todd Howard, I love Skyrim. Yes, Edna. It's sad that each ball of light you see is another planet system, probably just like ours. To get to the heart of that, we have to start at the beginning. Cicada, like, obviously we know it's, like, published by Bethesda, but did you hear about, like, all the rumors and stuff about who's actually making the bulk of the game? Yeah, I, I've actually found a reliable source that told me In Exile and Obsidian are actually doing all the development of Starfield and Bethesda is just the one that has the IP. That's, I mean, it's going to make it an interesting game and I'm sure there's going to please a lot of people. Yeah, it's going to have all the RPG mechanics that we know and love and it, it's essentially the New Vegas in space we all wanted. Yeah. I've spent nights during my days as a survivalist staring at the sky and connecting what the old world would call stars. And upon looking at them, I have made a discovery. If you or another wastelander were to look upon these dots in the sky, you may notice that if you connect them right, the pattern they give away spells the word Starfield. John Howard, Bethesda boss, I know your weakness, it's game of source. So, could there be a connection with the space station we see in Fallout 76 and Starfield? What else can the constellations in previous Bethesda games tell us about the story of Starfield? The truth is a lot more complex than you might think. And that's interesting because if you count the number of Todd Howard blinks here, it almost perfectly translates to the Morse code for 2021, which seems like solid evidence for this game's release date. Sarge, I'm really surprised of all the things that are leaking and becoming reality with Starfield. Is there anything else that you found out? Yeah, something that I think is going to annoy a lot of people, but which my family are already huge into, is the Satan worshipper requirements for purchasing the game. Obviously, you have ah. to swear your soul to Lord Lucifer, Prince of All Darkness, before you can actually get your hands on it, which is pretty much standard TOS at this point. Indeed, there's good reason to suspect that Bethesda and Todd Howard have been peppering tiny details all across various entries in their franchise all pointing towards one conclusion. So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's do further and figure out what the heck is going on with the stars of Starfield. When I was a young boy, I used to look at the night sky and wonder, are we really alone? Which one of these planets holds life? Who's my real dad? Starfield aims to answer some of these questions. So, to finally answer the question that's been burning a hole in your heart since that night you got lost in a corn maze when you were 8 years old, assumed you were done for, and you laid down in a field of corn to look up at the stars until you died, you can beat Starfield, not only without crushing your hopes and dreams, but also without derailing the hype train. The run officially ends once the end cinematic starts playing. This was a speculation percent speedrun of Starfield, I've been Tomato Anus, and I hope you have an above average day. But much like the cosmos, my expectations are limitless. And with a map 100 million times the size of Fallout 76, it's easy to see why Starfield is god tier. Who knows what will become of the stranger in the cosmos? All we know is that soon the sky will open up and the universe will be ours for the taking. A star field for the next chapter of humanity. But that, that is a story for another day. So uh, we're closer to showing it than we were in the beginning of this conversation. Um... Yes, guess who's on third? Lupe still like loop in the third. Here like here till I'm bitter on the curb. Peach fuzz buzz but bit on the verge. The slower down like we're on the serve. Bottle shaped body like Mrs. Butterworth. But before
before you say another word I'm back on the block like I'm laying on the street I'm trying to stop lying like I'm on rob But I'm not lying when I'm laying on the beat On God, a touche, Lupe, cool as the unthaw But I still feel possessed as a gun charge The come as correct 